Okay, so we all know Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold as the fugly, ugly, musty, cuggly, cum cugglers who shot up Columbine, killing 13 and wounding a two dozen others. So this was actually a failed bombing. I know you all know this because I've read my comments, but um, well, I wanted to say that I am not going to do a comedic editing today, but I wanted to look at what has changed since this shooting happened. Okay, so the first thing that changed immediately was, like, the police policy about active shooters. Now, when Combine happened, they couldn't go in. Like, the, at one point, Eric was shooting at them from, like, the front of the school on the stairwell. And he, as soon as he went inside the school, they weren't allowed to chase after him or something like that. And that was changed relatively swiftly. <laughs> and I see why. Surprised they didn't face, they probably did face massive lawsuits like that Uvalde situation, but Uvalde has no excuse. The, the policy was already changed. Is this at, like, I'm getting off track, but that's the first thing that changed. The next thing is that what I've noticed over the years of doing research since I was 15 is that the pure amount of inspiration this shooting has had on you know copycat killers that's what the thing is called when someone gets inspired by another shooting then they go come out um, their own shooting of themselves or their own shooting is like it's just called copycat it's a copycat killer kind of thing that's why in um major towns when a mass shooting occurs they kind of have a protocol for copycat that's why they're always saying copycat killers that's what that means the inspiration these people start looking up videos about shootings and they think, uh, I'm, I'm this, I'm that, I agree. And then they think that they can go do it and then they think they're going to be famous, but the, really they're going to be remembered for about a month. I know how the news cycle goes. In fact, I remember when I was 12 and the worst mass shooting in modern American history occurred in Las Vegas on October 1st, 2017. I remember it was month, it was like, it was the Monday after. And I remember seeing Stephen Paddock's pictures everywhere, especially the one that, you know, with his eyes closed. <laughs> Bad photography, huh? But anyway, back to the thing. Now, what else has changed is the number of mass shootings reported and the number of mass shootings that happen. There's definitely been more. I mean, we had three mass shootings yesterday. Now, a mass shooting, the most reliable source is the Gun Violence Archive, is four shots not including the perpetrator doesn't matter who dies or gets killed it doesn't really matter if 20 are injured as long as it's more than four injured or slash shot or four or more that's a mass shooting in the gun violence archive and with those types of shootings sometimes the media has an agenda and it doesn't really classify mass shootings like gang violence like some of those gang shootouts are technically mass shootings but they're not really reported on as mass shootings because it's not doesn't meet the criteria of their agenda now i uploaded a video on january 1st of this year right when the year started we didn't even make it an hour into the new year barely and there was a mass shooting and we only made it three days into the new year before there was a mass shooting at a school in perry iowa so yeah things have changed in the 25 years well, it's gotten better is the awareness of this issue. We didn't really care in 1999 because it didn't really happen. Like, in 1979, there was Brenda Spencer, and in 19... Was it 1997, there was uh, Michael Carneal, and in 1998, there was Kip Kinkle. Those are the only big three mass school shootings that really occurred and that made a lot of media. You know, the old I Don't Like Mondays girls was the first major one that really shook us in the modern age. I say modern, and it happened over 40 years ago. But you know what I mean. Not many mass school shootings predate Columbine. But this one is, this is why this one is like a major, sort of, it's like a major blueprint. Now obviously, many things have happened since 1999. The technology has improved, gun technology has improved, war technology has improved everything so the reason somehow there hasn't been well many mass shootings like virginia tech yeah virginia tech it was only like maybe i mean any life loss is a tragedy but i'm surprised that 
it was not worse because well it did happen in 2007 but as you know gun technology is constantly improving so if there's a di disheveled disenfranchised teenager who doesn't like life they could act out with more modern weapons so keep that in mind now as Wyatt as Uncle Shada always says and a simple act of kindness can prevent a lot of violence you never know how much how many of these mass shootings were kind of motivated by harassment and just being alone and being rejected not <laughs> gee I sound like Elliot Roger Anyway, I need, I need to go get a water. It's hot out here. I'm starting to feel lightheaded. It's going to be bad this summer. Anyway, I'm off my soapbox for now. Enjoy your day. Uh, subscribe if you would like. Even whatever. Thank you. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed this little, uh, I don't even know what to call it. Anyway, I'm going to put up, anyway, I'm going to put up my Xbox gamer tag at the end of the video and yeah, I'm gonna put it in the description. So that's the best way to get in contact with me because I don't really check my social medias that often beside YouTube comments. I just have them just so I can check them from time to time, you know, to see if anyone really wants anything. And uh, it's not getting too big, too quick, but my YouTube channel is the biggest. So whatever. I hope y'all enjoy this. Have a grand day. I hope you have a great summer, man. Have a nice time.